and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing a Kmart makeup look. This is such an exciting video because not all of us have an arm and a leg to spend on makeup products. So I'm going to show you how to create this makeup look using very affordable makeup all from Kmart. So if you are interested, then just keep watching. So I purchased all of this stuff a little while ago. I'm pretty sure that I got something for every part of the makeup. That was definitely my intentions, but because there is so many products that go into creating like a full face of makeup, I'm really not sure if I forgot anything. So I've got all the products laid out in front of me. I'm gonna start with the like skincare products that I got and then move forward from there. So the first thing I that I got was this Prep and Prime Primer. It's from OXX Bloom. I really like the packaging and a lot of their products. I like that it comes in a box rather than you know, a lot of drugstore products come wrapped in like a lot of plastic and it's really hard to sort of, I guess, unwrap it. So I do really like the look of the packaging. A lot of the packaging from the same brand has like, is in the same sort of like boxes and everything. So this first product is called a Prep and Prime Primer. It says that it contains vitamin C and has antioxidants and is lightweight. So it says this lightweight prep and prime primer nourishes your skin and creates the perfect base for long lasting makeup application. So I'm pretty sure this was $6, but I will have all of the prices pop up on the screen because it's really hard to read my receipt because there's so many different things on there. So I will have all of the prices for everything pop up on the screen for you as long as I can find the links. So this is what this primer looks like. It comes in like a little, um, dropper bottle which is um, quite interesting because I don't really have any other primers that I think are in a similar packaging to this so I guess I'm just gonna open it up and see what it looks like so it doesn't seem to the dropper doesn't really seem to like be working so I'm just gonna like wipe it on the back of my hand and apply it that way mm, it smells nice Okay, so, so far so good with that product. I guess you don't really know with primers until you actually have all of your makeup on how they're gonna work. For the eyes, I'm gonna start with my eyebrows first. So I got this product right here for my brows. This is by OXX again. It is, what is this called? It's called a smudge resistant long wear auto brow pencil in the shade dark brown. Uh, it says that it defines and intensifies your brows with precision to create a flawless and striking look. So let's just fluff up my brow hairs and let's give this a go. I really hope that this works well. This is a really nice color actually. Yeah, I really like that actually. This is such a nice brow pencil, you guys. I'm just gonna move on to carving out my brows. So I bought two different concealer products. They're both from the OXX Studio. They're both full coverage concealers, but one is called the Full Coverage Concealer and the other one is called the Ultra Coverage Concealer. So I'm assuming the Ultra Coverage is supposed to be like the fullest coverage concealer that they do, but I'm just going to open them both up and see what they look like. So the first one I got the shade number three nude, which is the ultra coverage concealer. And then in the full coverage concealer, I got the shade ivory. They both look very, very, very similar, like pretty much exactly the same. Um, like the same packaging and everything. One just says concealer and the other one says ultra coverage concealer. Judging by the color of them, I might even have to like mix the two together, I would say. I'm just bringing the concealer all the way down onto my lid as my eyeshadow base as well. Just gonna I really like how it's looking so far. Yeah, it seems to be like 
like sitting quite nicely. I don't have any complaints there. Now I'm going to set my brows using this brow set. So this is called the Tinted Eyebrow Gel. Um, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. So again, from the same OXX Beauty. The color looks like a very warm brown. So I'm a little bit nervous for this, but we will see how it goes. Oh, it seems to grab the um, brow hairs quite well. I don't really notice any kind of color differences, which is good. So next we're going to move on to eyeshadow. This is probably the part that I'm most nervous for because a lot of cheap eyeshadows are quite bad formulas and they're really quite chalky. They don't really hold pigment very well. So I'm a little bit nervous to see how this goes. But alas, we're going to give it a go anyway. So the eyeshadow palette I got is this one here from OXX again. It's called the Gold 28 Eye Palette. So I'm just going to open it up and have a look. So it's in this like plastic pink, uh, like acrylic kind of looking case. Um, and this is what the eyeshadows look like. They're quite neutral tones. Um, that's sort of what I wanted to go for. I didn't want to... Um, try anything like too colored or anything like that because I wanted to play it a little bit more safe because of course I do want this makeup look to turn out nice and I do want to be able to you know um, hopefully recommend these products for you guys to use for those that are on like a budget so I think I might just play it extremely extremely safe and go in with this color right in the middle it's this really like just plain neutral brown color I think I might go in with this medium brown here and just sort of deepen up the crease a little bit. Oh, that's a nice color. Hmm, I might do like kind of like a like really neutral tone brown smoky eye with like a gold lid. So I'm gonna go in with this dark brown shade here. Um, and just deepen up the crease a little bit more. Okay, so you definitely notice a little bit of kind of issue there with the darker color. It doesn't really hold pigment as well as the other shades. It like as I'm blending it out, it's kind of going a little bit patchy and it's really hard to like make it look smooth. I'm going to go in with this shade here, which kind of looks like a little bit of a champagne color. And I'm going to mix it with this other one here, which is a little bit more gold. Alright, so you can definitely see a lot of fallout on my eyes now. I think once I started adding the shimmery shades, it just was like game over. So, I mean, I don't mind how the eyes are looking at the moment, but I'm kind of a little bit bored. Like, it just looks really boring. So I'm going to try and like zhoosh it up a little bit. So I'm going to use, I feel like I want to use either this like orangey kind of color or maybe even this like more rust sort of copper shade. So I'm going to go in with the more like rust kind of color first and I'm just going to press that in there like out of third. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm going to move on to eyeliner. So I'm using this cream gel liner from the brand called e.l.f. I did try and find one in the OXX Beauty, but I couldn't find any other than like penciled eyeliners and I prefer a gel, so I just picked up this one. Ooh, I like the packaging of this. Um, I am going to move on to mascara now and then we will do some lashes. So the mascara that I picked up is from OXX Bloom again. It's a volumizing mascara in the shade number one, black. So 
So next I'm going to move on to the lashes. Uh, the lashes that I picked up are from OXX again. So this is the Fluttering Range and the style is Bettina. These were probably the best lashes that I could find. They looked the most natural. All of the others looked very synthetic looking and quite harsh. Mmm, I like these lashes. Now I'm going to move on to the foundation. For foundation, I did buy a couple of different shades. So I bought three shades in the long wear matte foundation. I bought number 1.1 Swan, number 3.1 Light Beige, and number 5 Honey. So I think honey is the darkest of the three, so I think I'm going to try that one first. And if I need to, I may mix a little bit of the lighter shade, which is a light beige. I think I may actually be in between the two shades. So I'm just going to pop honey on and then I'm going to go in with the light beige next to it. Yeah, can you see the difference in the two colors there? I feel like I am a mixture of both of them. So I'm just going to start blending them together. Yeah, I think that's a good color match. So the foundation says that it is medium coverage, long wearing formulation that has a matte finish and it gives you an all day natural glow. So looks pretty good so far. Um, I would definitely say it is only a medium coverage. It's definitely not a full coverage foundation. Whether it's long wearing and all day, I'll have to keep you guys posted on that. So, so far so good. I like the way that it feels. I like the color and everything. So I'm going to move on to the concealer now and see how that blends in with it. With the concealer, I think I'm going to use the Ultra Coverage Concealer, which was the shade number 3 Nude. Wow, that literally just melted into the skin so nicely. Next, I'm going to move on to setting my skin. So I'm going to use this translucent powder that I picked up from OXX. Um, so it's just Flawless Finish Mattifying Longwear Powder. Um, it's just in the shade Translucent, I guess. Um, it doesn't actually look very white when I'm looking at it in the packaging. It almost looks kind of like a really light beige color. So we'll see how this goes on. So it looks okay. It set my skin pretty well. It definitely mattified the skin down like there's no shine left to my skin anymore. Um, it looks very pink in the like packaging here but I don't really notice it looking like too pink or anything on my skin. I'm going to do underneath my eyes before we bronze up the skin and everything. Alright, moving on to bronzing my skin. I'm going to use this bronze palette here. It's from BYS. I couldn't find any type of like bronzing product or anything from OXX. So I did find this bronze palette, which I thought would be good to pick up because it does have some shimmery uh, shades and some matte shades. And I do usually like to use a mixture of those when I do my own makeup. So I will probably use this one in the top right hand corner because it's the most sort of, and then maybe like a, a little bit of this shimmery one down here. Holy cow. Okay, no, that is not okay. Oh my god, how do I, like, look, it just looks like mud on my face or something. I don't even know what to do right now to, like, mute it down. I don't even have, like, a foundation powder that I can, like, go over it with. So I'm just trying to ah, blend it out. The makeup was going so well up until I just did that. Okay, I'm 
I'm not even going to add any more bronzer to my skin because I'm scared but I, what I am going to do is I'm going to try and contour my nose a bit but I'm going to use one of these like lighter colours so I think I might go in this one that's in the top in the middle um, because it's not too dark and I'm just going to try and really lightly contour and just hope for the best. Okay, so I think that looks okay because it wasn't too dark. It's definitely not amazing, but I think that that is looking probably the best I'm going to get it, to be honest, with this um, palette. So I'm going to move on now to highlighter. This is my favorite part and also the part that I'm most excited for because I didn't even realize, but I got two highlighters. Um, so one is from BYS and one is from the OXX brand. I like the look of the BYS one because it looks like a very like intense gold undertone highlighter, which I really like. Um, and the OXX one is like a marbled highlighter. So that also looks quite interesting as well. Um, I don't even know which one I'm going to use. I might actually try a bit of both of them and just... I guess mix the two together. So the OXX highlighter, so it's the marbled highlighter in the shade number one chrome. And then the BYS is the diamond highlighter in the shade energy. I feel like I have to try this one first. So I'm gonna go in with a small pencil brush and I'm just going to highlight the top of my lip. Okay, that is definitely like, an intense highlighter. I'm gonna also do my inner corners. Okay, and then I'm going to use a little bit of the uh, OXX Marbled Highlighter. I'm gonna go in with a fresh brush because I don't want, you know, the difference in colors to sort of change my view. Oh, that's super gold. That was not what I was expecting. So I was expecting the BYS one to be way more gold, but it's a really, really, really light, light gold. Whereas this one definitely has a lot of gold in it. Oh, wow. All right, I'm going to highlight my cheeks using the OXX highlighter. Yeah, oh my God, that is so gold, whoa. Wow, I was not expecting it to be that intense. Like it looks so subtle in the pan. I feel like I have to try the um, BYS one on my other cheek just to see the difference. Oh yeah, this one's very light, which I was not expecting. It looks so yellow in the packaging, but it's super light. Like it's almost opposite of how I was expecting. I was expecting the BYS to look very yellow like this side and I was expecting the OXX one to look more like this. So, wow. Okay, I feel like I've gone way too ham with this. I need to like mute this down a lot. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the lips. So for lips, for the life of me, I could not find a good lip product from OXX or BYS. So I had to settle for this color, which is from Australis. I know Australis you can get in a lot of drugstores and it's not specific to Kmart, but I could not find a good color, so I picked up this one. It is the um, Demi Matte Finish Lightweight Long Lasting Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Inspire. It looks quite like quite a nice color when I'm looking at it in the wand. Oh, it's very thick. Oh, it smells like bubblegum. Oh my god, that smells so good. It smells really good. Oh my god, I actually just want to eat this. The color is also a lot lighter than what I was expecting. Like, it doesn't look as light in the packaging. Okay, so the lip color is a lot lighter than what I would have liked. I think if I was to wear this lip color again, I would definitely put a slightly darker lip pencil with it just to kind of add a little bit more depth because I feel like it is a little bit light for my skin tone. But I do like how everything is looking so far. 
I'm going to move on to the last step of the makeup, which is setting spray. So my setting spray that I have is from OXX. It is called the Luminous Luxe Setting Spray. So it says that it is hydrating and soothing. <laughs> that my makeup looks. I think this is a really beautiful bronzy makeup look. The only thing that I didn't like was the BYS bronzer palette and I think that's just because the shade undertones are just much too red for my liking. The overall application itself looks really nice now that I've like muted it down but I just don't think that I would use this product again just because the undertones are just not personally what I like. Everything else, I absolutely love the way that it looks on. I love the overall result of my makeup. I think the only other thing that I could be picky about would be the eyeshadow. I just think that the darker shades didn't really hold their pigment as well and they sort of went a little bit patchy when I was trying to blend them in. But the shimmery shades look really nice and I do still like the overall result of the eyeshadow look. One thing that I love is the feeling of this velvet lip cream from Australis feels so hydrating and so amazing on my lips. Like I feel like I could just wear this like all day and all night and it just feels so beautiful. I definitely would try and find this in a slightly darker color for myself, but Overall, it still looks really nice and I'm really happy with how everything looks. I hope you guys found this video somewhat informative and you definitely can see now that you can spend, you know, a lot less on makeup and still have a really nice, beautiful glam result. You definitely do not have to go out there and buy the most expensive makeup on the market. Hey, all of these products were all from Kmart and I still created a really nice makeup look. So you can definitely do glam on a budget. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next one, I will see you all later. Bye.